Welcome back to our Miss series. Uh, we are here with Randy Fry from mm -hmm. Miss to talk about dynamic PCAP. Yep, dynamic PCAP and uh, manual PCAP. Okay. So PCAP, we're solving two problems. One problem is when you have a situation, you have a problem in the field, you don't know what access point somebody's on. Mm -hmm. So you ask this agent to one, and then the next, and the next, you're trying to find the person where they are in order to do a packet capture. Okay. With our manual packet capture, it will follow the person around. It'll go and capture on all the access points and combine the information and can wow. track where the person is. So that you say... doesn't sound you... so manual. No, <laughs> no. But it's manual uh, trigger. So I like say, that. Yes. That's, that's, that's awesome. There's some manual intervention yeah. needed. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, my kind of manual. <laughs> so your intent is you want to capture a client. And that's okay. what you do. You specify which client you want to capture. And we handle where the capture comes from. Okay. Awesome. So I guess you're going to show us a little bit about how the dashboard works and mm -hmm. how this goes about. Yep. So we have our tabs over on the left. Okay. And under the network tab, we simply go to packet captures. If I want to do a new capture, I can come in here and I can say I want to select a particular client to capture. And I can specify which device I want to capture. So in here, I might want to capture my MacBook Pro over at my desk, okay. select it. I can also optionally select which WLAN they, the person might be connecting to. In this case, I don't care. I wanted to capture whatever WLAN they uh, try to join. Mm -hmm. But also access point. If I want to capture a particular access point that might be problematic, I can choose that. Uh, it's more powerful. I leave those options yeah. open. You're gathering more data then. Mm -hmm. Yep. And now, wherever my laptop goes, anything it does on our network, we'll capture it. And we'll combine the information awesome. into one coherent picture. That's so That's, useful for I, oh. all the time I'll get someone that calls in and says, I've, I'm having issues. Well, what's mm -hmm. your MAC address? What's your device, right? And so once you have that, I then have to start looking for them. Mm -hmm. And that's where this comes in handy because you just specify the MAC, the MAC address, and now start capturing it. And you're good to go because it's going to start capturing no matter... Mm -hmm where they are on yeah. the floor plan, well, where they are in the building. Think about wireless voice, having to roam from one to one to one when somebody's walking. Because you never get the, by the way, I was in the middle of hallway B in this section in front of this door in the phone, and I lost a voice signal. Mm -hmm. That's never how it happens. It's like, oh, this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's, wow, the implications of this are, that's, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. And often roaming is exactly what you're trying to capture. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because then you could tell them, go ahead and try to replicate it, and you're starting to capture. Mm -hmm. It'll run for a few minutes, or I can manually stop the capture. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as the capture gets uploaded, it'll appear in the list, and then I can I can debug it. So mm -hmm. I can I can click on it, I can open up in Wireshark or wherever my uh, PCAP software is. Awesome. awesome. So that's the manual way of doing the mm -hmm. packet capture. What about the dynamic method? Yep. So the bigger problem is when someone calls up with an issue, you then have to go and try to get them to reproduce it. And that usually doesn't work well. They're not at work anymore. Yeah. And it's just, it's, it's yeah. a bit ridiculous. <laughs> so they tell you nice, three days later? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be nice is if when someone had a problem, you can actually then go and already have the capture ahead of time. So you just want to capture everything and then be able to find the captures. So what we can do is if I go into my client list, I can choose somebody. I'll pick on myself here. I'll find my iPhone. I can go through and click through client insights and I can see all the insights from my device throughout the day. Uh, I see a timeline of every problem uh, that had neutral, good things it did, such as getting a DNS okay. And I <laughs> look at the bad. Good things too. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Great. <laughs> Listen up. You did a good job. You, <laughs> you finished DHCP. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> if I look at this, there was a DHCP init failure recently. So if I click on that, I can go through and look, packet captures are already there available. So if I click on this, I can save it and analyze later. Uh, I can open up in Wireshark. I could open any uh, capture analysis tool that I want. Awesome. So Easy. Yeah, <laughs> very easy. So here, my question comes around, what do you determine keeping a capture? Because I'm assuming you have a large network. You're not keeping every single packet capture. Because you've got for this, you have to be capturing at all points in time. What is kind of your baseline is how do you determine when to keep a packet capture and then just when to kind of let it go? So in errors, mm -hmm. connection errors, or any error that we determine, we will capture the packet. And okay. in fact, we are capturing at all times. Yeah. Wow. And what we do is when we see a problem, we rewind a little bit, and then we store that data. Okay. 
And like with the goods, are those actual packet captures or are they just more or less just a, hey, this this was a good time? So for the goods, we give statistics about what was good about it, who they connected to, the access point, what protocol is used, if it's a roam, what type of roam, fast roam, slow roam. But you see with the goods, there is no packet capture because there's nothing really to debug there. That's actually really good, though, to see the fast roams. I like to see that or the type of roams because, Mm -hmm. you know, if you did a regular roam instead of a fast roam, that's actually might not be good in every situation, but to know that, okay, this is the type of roam or this is the type of situation. Or it has happened before. Yeah, you might not be expecting a roam. We're glad that, you know, Mm -hmm. you had a good roam, but, you know, it was one of those areas that you weren't expecting. So this is powerful. And you can just easily dive into just the bad, right? Instead of having to dig through a bunch of a whole list of what has happened. And all the goods. You don't want to filter through. Here I see a lot of goods, roaming, fast roaming, all throughout the building. It's my iPhone, so it's moving around a lot. And if I want to look at any problem I might have had, I can click and look at just the bags. Is is that the advantage of doing using the dynamic packet capture? Because if you use the manual method, are you capturing everything and then you gotta sift through and find the bad? Whereas here it captured authorization yeah. failures or DHCP problems. It's already showing you where it is, and you're just getting the specific capture. Correct. Right. That's one of the benefits. It's only about that specific problem. Awesome. It's the packets right around that situation, right before and right after. And it's not that we detect an error, and then we start a capture real quick. We're always Our capturing. Yeah. We rewind a little bit, and we grab the before and the after. But the That's real awesome. benefit that is it exists. I don't have to go and do it after the fact. So any problem I might have had, and I did not enable anything special, this is just happening for my iPhone all the time. Mm-hmm. So as a kind of a guy who likes to be as proactive as possible, is there a way to set up alerting for this? So basically it's like, all right, because you're going to always have some bad. I mean, let's just mm-hmm. be honest, wireless isn't perfect. So, but is there a way to set up, okay, if you see certain amounts of, you know what I mean, a certain threshold of DHCP failures or bad roam or some kind of a, is there a trigger to send like alerts out to administrators themselves? Yeah, we don't have emails tied to that right now, mm-hmm. but we do have insights and analytics being done on there where we do statistics around how many errors, because you're right, one DCP error is not a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Often when a client roams, it'll try to use its previous IP address that might be across the layer three boundary, it'll give it a shot, and if that fails, it fail. immediately gets yeah. a new address. Mm-hmm. And you want to alert people on that, but we do keep statistics on that. Okay. So if we see particular WLANs failing a lot, or particular access points failing a lot, we keep stats on that so somebody can see which their problematic uh, parts of their system are. That, that's good to know, because yeah, because you, know, you want to be able to see it, but you don't also want to be notified again, like you said. The layer three roam, you're going to have a DHCP fail. That's just kind of how it's built. <laughs> yeah. yep. So, is there anything else we need to know around the packet capture, dynamic or manual? I mean, you went through it pretty well. It's very easy to do, to yeah. be honest. And this takes a lot of the time of having to figure out how to get to this point. Because mm-hmm. you know, this is what takes yeah. up most of the I was time. Say, getting... The packet capturing itself, a lot yeah. of times, is more troublesome yeah. than actually analyzing. Or what it. I'm used to doing is, you know, trying to do the roaming piece you have to have multiple adapters mm-hmm. on different channels and being able to capture that room this makes it so much more easier i like it yeah, yeah the challenge with demo is too simple it's very simple it's just there. <laughs> it's, by the, the way i could capture sitting there waiting for you and this it's is like, cool that we like the engineers use this tool all the time when problems get escalated and our customer support team uses this tool all the time it's true because it's usually the first question when you get to a level three support is do you have a pcap Mm-hmm. Or let's take a peek at see the proof. Yeah, so here you can actually go back and see it. It's like it's almost to the point where it's like, all right, guys, now we're gonna go in and teach people how to use Wireshark because this is too easy. <laughs> so now we're gonna do Wireshark. <laughs> awesome, cool. Well, thank you for showing us the yes. packet capture, dynamic, and manual method. I think this feature alone will help a lot of people out there who are having Wi-Fi issues. This will bring that to light. Yeah, thank you very much, Randy. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the latest episode of the Wi-Fi of Everything. I uh, hope you found it educational, entertaining, and you learned something. So please feel free to leave comments below. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know your ideas. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notifications button and check out some of our other videos. So until next time, guys, have a good day.